One day, in my village, the people turned into zombies. Those damn wasps. They escaped from the lab. It wasn't long before they got to work. Some spread. The army was called in. They killed everyone. So, the terrorism is a retaliation for a cruel government cover-up. Sounds plausible. Or it could be some serious bullshit. In either case, we have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. I know I have no right to ask, but please, let me help. If you don't get out of here, the truth dies with you. <clears throat> All right. If allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us, I'm all for it. Isabella, I don't know if you're listening to this or not, but I've made up my mind. This is the last resort. I'm going to end it all. I'm sorry that I got you involved in all of this. I love you, Isabella. Exactly what is this last resort talk all about? Carlito said that he'd blow up the mall if he were cornered. <laughs> Damn! We've got a regular suicide bomber on our hands. It's them what you're thinking. The explosion would send parasitic larvae into the atmosphere. He plans to spread zombies outside of the city? Is he insane? That bomb goes off, there'll be nowhere to run. The zombies will be everywhere. He's planning to flood the area underneath the mall with flammable gas, then set it off. If you could take care of the bombs while the gas concentration is still low. There's a chance we could stop the explosion. Let's do it.
of your bombs. This is as far as you go today. Just give up and surrender. <laughs> Bomb's over and done with. Brad went after Carlito. Copy. Report back here, Frank. Yeah. Ah, Frankie. Good timing. I was, uh, just about to shoot my... Mwah, piece de resistance. <laughs> I'm gonna capture, on film, the exact moment that a human being crosses into zombiehood. Brad gets his hands on that terrorist. I guess it'll be case closed, huh? No. Uh, do you know of anything else he could be planning? No. Nothing but the bombs. He's got his computer hidden away. I'm sure there's plenty of information on it. Can you take me there? To his hideout? Leave it to me.
Let's go. It's no good. It's password protected. I'll try words we both might know. Family stuff. Things like that. What's this cable? It looks like part of a jamming device. I won't be able to disable it unless I log in. back now. Take a look at this. The guy being dragged? I think it's Carlito. You could be right. Where is this? The basement of the North Plaza. Right in front of the butcher shop. Get any closer. Stay away, Frank. Don't get near me. What's the matter, Brad? Are you hurt? I'm coming over there, Brad. We'll go back together. If you're hurt, we'll patch you up. I mean, uh, that meat? Um... Oh, this is good meat, huh? I just got it in here. It's fresh. <laughs> you just wait right there, sir. In a moment, you can try the best ground meat you've ever tasted. <laughs> Whoa, ground? Wait a minute, listen. I had something else in mind. Zombies are no good. 
I can't serve my customers spoiled meat like that. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a butcher. <laughs> I've got the best meat in town. <laughs> It's over. What about Isabella? <coughs> She's on our side now. She's checking out your computer right now. My purpose in life has been to get revenge for what you people did to Santa Cabeza. My hometown. Why? Why was your meat so much more important to you than human life? Why? Why did my people have to die to feed your fat bellies? That doesn't excuse what you've done. But I promise, the Santa Cabeza story will be told. But I need the password. Hey. Hey! Hey! Stay with me! Give me the computer's password! He's dead. Oh. All he worried about was you in the end. But damn it! 
He died without telling me a damn thing. You know, I thought he was terrorist scum. But... In the end, all he really cared about was his sister. Jerk. Here. He wanted you to have this. Did you figure it out? Pachamama. Mother Earth. Our parents said that a lot. The place we lived. Santa Cabeza. Was blessed with nature. <laughs> Please believe me. When I say my brother didn't want all this, he only wanted to live in peace in Santa Cabeza. 